Excuse me. Excuse me, do you work here? Who, who are you? I'm Marcus. Just collecting a debt. But I don't I, I don't owe anyone any money. Not money. <clears throat> no way. No way, my time isn't up yet. I can't give you. I still have five years. You sure you want to see this one? We can still change our tickets if we leave now. Oh my god, yes, I'm sure I love her. Plus, this is better than all that blood and guts and killing, right? Of course. <laughs> you know, you're so damn beautiful. Hey, no smoking, man. How inconsiderate of me. Oh my god! Uh. Remember this? God. Don't I have more time? Afraid not. Beautiful women usually mean problems, buddy. I didn't appreciate that comment you made earlier. Hey, Raquel. Didn't know you were there. Always assume I'm there. Yeah, well, she was a little young, wasn't she? She was 15 when she signed the contract. Ten years seems like an eternity to a teenager. True. You've collected quite a few already. Volo dead pacto spiritus. Okay. You're good. Who's next? Just have the colonel coming up. Fantastic. It's people like him who make me so thrilled I have you by my side. Don't mistake my servitude to you for solidarity. You're alive because we have a deal. Forget that again, I'll watch you die with a smile. <clears throat> and you'll lose your collector. <clears throat> you need me just as much as I need you. I don't need anybody. You're just useful to me for the moment. Can I get back to work? Yes. You'll get the Colonel's picture and location. The place is well guarded. So, we'll soon see just how useful you are.
¿Todo está bien? Ándale, pues. Sale. Eli, time up. Where's the detonator? You can do better than that, gringo. I won't ask again. Where's the detonator? Go ahead. Shoot me. But the hundreds who die after that are on you. So just play c -Line. Todo va a estar bien, ¿eh? Mírame en los ojos. Look, you tell me what I want to know, and I promise you, you should be safe with us. You want me to trust you and your country? You can't guarantee anything. You want a guarantee? Ah! I guarantee she won't bleed to death if you tell us where the detonator is. What are you doing? Ah! Ah! Shh. The bomb is somewhere in Houston, Marcus. My family is there. No, 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 We've got the target. Requesting evac helo. ETA, 10 minutes. Can you extract any information from the target? He's not talking, sir. Our team is blind. There are too many potential bomb locations. Is there any way to get the information out of him? No, sir. He's alone. What do you want? 
Remember May 21st, 1995? How does a Python unit agent end up with a job like this? I see you, Patch. I trained several of your predecessors. I assume it's just fitting that my life will end by one of them. You look calm. I'm responsible for my actions. I'm not going to run. But I thought I had another two years with my family. Just following orders. I'll object, but I know better than to pick a fight with you. Before you do this, you promise me nothing will happen to my family. Have you ever let someone go? No. Why not? Collector, extract the colonel's wife? No. Then what just happened? What a mess. Looks like someone's trying to steal some souls to meet their quota. But why go after the colonel's wife? She's not a designated target. A soul is a soul. I don't know if it's gonna do him or his handler much good if they're not even bound by contract. As far as I know, the souls are rendered void. But in any case, let me know if it happens again. It's me. What do you want? Just open the door, Eli. <sighs> For Christ's sake, it wasn't your fault. You're right. It was yours. I know you lost your family, but don't- But what, Marcus? You have no family. You don't know what you're talking about. I look at these, trying to think they're still here. And my son's doing his homework. My wife is waiting for me to join her. My baby is asleep in her crib. But some lunatic decides to blow up them all. You decide 
to spare his family over my family. You know that's not true. We've worked together for years. I loved your family. Isn't that exactly what happened? Didn't you make that call, team leader? All right, when the cards were set and it was his family or my family, you chose his. There were multiple targets that day, Eli. I had no way of knowing. We had a chance. Had you followed my orders that day, your family would still be alive. Bullshit! You really think that your tactics were gonna work? Reasoning with the terrorist. Your mind was on your family that day, not the mission. And because of that, everybody died. So it was my fault for thinking of them. You know, not everyone's like you, Marcus. You know, even if you had a family, you wouldn't care, would you? Would you? You're drunk. I'm gonna come back another time. What the hell for? We're both out of a job thanks to you. Okay, you're not my partner anymore. You're just some, some person who let hundreds of people die. Hey, my name's Rick, I'm the new neighbor. So sorry to bother this late at night, but I got locked out and I left my phone inside. I mean, would you mind if I could use your... I think we got off on the wrong foot. Uh hey, buddy. What are you doing? I was looking for a new place to live. I thought this would be a good spot. What do you think? What is wrong with you? I thought you'd appreciate me mobilizing your target for you. Why'd you kill his family? Oh, so now we care about families. That was a long time ago, Eli. I thought you moved on. Moved on? You'll never understand, will you? You think your family would've wanted you to do this? I'm doing this for them. a bit stronger, huh? It's the perk of extracting these suckers. Each one actually adds to the strength of the collector. The trick is, don't cash in your chips. A plumber did this to you? <laughs> Eli. Man stealing souls is Eli. <laughs> oh, yes. Your former partner in crime. <laughs> you got a little carried away, huh? 
I like his style. He says they give him more power. <sighs> what exactly did he say? I don't know. I was too busy getting my ass kicked. All right. He just says that each soul adds to his strength. And the trick is not to cash in his chips. You need to stop him, Marcus. From? collecting any more souls. He's a threat and a liability. He clearly has no handler and is gone rogue. Can't you issue some demonic warrant or something? What are we, the CIA? Why do you think I keep you around? Find him and kill him. I don't care what you have to do. and finish your job. They're gone. They're all gone. sold my soul so that they could live a better life. I'm sorry. Oh my God. What am I doing? Let me guess, you're an angel. Okay, nice chat. My name is Adivus, and I'm a messenger from God. Oh, he speaks. Don't you have anything better to do? You've fallen into quite the predicament, haven't you? Working for a boss who's impossible to please while she holds your health and life ransom? Sounds like any job, really. I can help you. I can help you bring down Eli. Wait, you guys up there know about him? Why aren't you doing anything about it? He's messing with my work. I cannot directly interfere with human actions. He has forbade me from doing so. Why are you wasting my time? Like I said, I'm a messenger. You shouldn't blame yourself for those that died in the mall all those years ago, or any of the others. Eli's family's not your fault. Whether or not I blame myself, it's none of your business. Angel. Humans can do many things, but they're not omnipotent. You did what you thought was right at the time. Taking anyone's life is never right, no matter the circumstances. I only wish that you'd continue to have this judgment after the incident, but you chose this path instead. Are you kidding me? I lost everything that day. My best friend, my job, my reputation, everything. Nobody, government or otherwise, would even hire me. That's what doing the right thing led to. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what God thinks. I get paid very well. I have a good life now. So what if other people suffer? They're the ones that sign the contracts, not me. You and I both know you could have found another way. That's why I'm here, Marcus. You had a moment of repentance. I know you're a good man deep down. And you're the only one who can stop Eli makes you think I want to stop him. Stop being my responsibility years ago. 
Eli has been taking hundreds of souls with the amulet, eradicating entire families, therefore making his amulet more powerful and subsequently himself. Can't you guys put an end to him then? I mean, can't God smite thee or something? A gold testament on him? She refer to his Old Testament. It's actually... I don't need a lecture. I can't speak for God. I can only convey to you what he wishes me to convey to you and help you as he wishes me to help you. No more, no less. So let's say hypothetically, I do care. What's in it for me? If you do nothing, Eli continues to grow stronger. I'm certain that Raquel will have you deal with the consequences of failing. I will not harm you, but we know she will. I also know you've not been yourself since the incident. I can see through your lies, into your Holy Spirit. I'm offering you a chance to set things right. Will you accept my help? Fine. Yes. The key to stopping Eli lies in the Elder Amulet. So you want me to extract more souls of my own? Of course not. You must seek out Kristen Lockhart. She'll be able to tell you more about the amulet. You can't tell me because... She will. And you're gonna need her. Hey. You, uh, you look like you belong someplace nicer. Like on my yacht. I could even name it after you. What do you think? I usually get to know someone before I decide to get stuck in the middle of the ocean with them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I work in advertising. How about you? I'm a first grade teacher. Yeah? Love working with children. Not as complicated as adults. And I 100% agree. Um, Where are so you I think that is enough small talk. Look, here's the deal. I know a lot about women. How you feel, how you think. You do. I do, yes. The, the female mind is not a mystery to me. And I can tell you, I am the best that you will ever get. I have more money available to me on just one of my cards than you have ever made in your entire life. Now that card, by the way, could be used by you. I'm just putting that out there. So, uh, what's your name? So I can put it on my yacht. You might not like my name, though. No, 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 no. I am sure that you have the most beautiful name. It's Biz. Biz. What, is that like your initials or something? Uh, no, no, no. Try saying it more with the P sound. Piz? Last name's O. Piz Oaf. There you go. It's a very, uh, different, you know, very, very unique. I'll tell you what. If you say my name three times fast, I'll give you a present. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, piss off. Piss off. Piss off. There's your present. Now go piss off on your yacht. You know, he could have just said no. He could have just not been an ass. So what do you teach? Teach history. 
Uh, thanks, but I'm not drinking that. We said this was for you. You've had a rough night, Kristen. How do you know my name? Who are you? Would you believe an angel sent me? God, I'm in no mood for cheesy pickup lines. Please leave me alone. I will. As soon as you tell me about this. That isn't supposed to exist. Where did you get that? I have another one, actually. They were on sale. I'm a collector. Get away from me. You're pretty cute. It's gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you. Marcus! Now it's a party. I need her, Eli. You think you can save her? How about you give me your amulet, and I'll let her go. I don't need her that badly. Oh, well, then I'll just kill her. Dead? No, just in an alternate state for now. Come with me. What is and keep your mouth shut or I'll make you join him. Yes, you may speak. What was that about? Demons. Don't want them listening in on anything. This is your place. Demon proof then? No, but I've placed safeguards to reduce their possible entry. You really know your stuff. You can save your flattery for later. You were about to let me die back there. I saved you, didn't I? Uh, what was it that you said? I don't need her that badly? I was just trying to keep him off guard. Basic hostage negotiation tactics. Some tactics. Anyway. Thank you for saving me. Well, don't thank me yet. I'm just curious about that amulet. I'm assuming the angel gave it to you? Yeah, he said you could tell me more about it. So, I really did get referred to by an angel. Makes a hell of a bullet point on a resume, doesn't it? Ha ha, you should just stand up. What was his name? Uh, it's a weird name. It was like Addy... Addi... Adibus? Was it your father or something? No, you idiot. He saved me. Well, he's been telling me how he can't directly interfere with- From myself. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm glad you got through all that. I was very young. My mom was dying and I just wanted to find a way to keep her from dying. Keep her with me. I prayed, but I never thought someone would show up. Oh God, why am I telling you all this? I barely even know you. You don't have to. Do you have a family? Does it matter? I'd like to know who I'm dealing with. <sighs> Look, I lost my family when I was really young. I don't know what happened to them. Some kind of accident. Now I'm not a complete stranger. Happy. I'm sorry about your family. Yeah. Well, it was a long time ago. So, what happened to your mom? The cancer took her eventually. And when she died, I... I didn't know what to do with myself. She was my whole life. She made me who I am today. She gave me all these books. She... I just couldn't go on without her. So... I bought a gun. And... Hey. I'm just glad you're okay now. <laughs> okay. 
So, do you always use the angel line? You scream, and you die. Capiche? Now, you might be wondering what I'm doing in a dump like this. Power. Plain and simple. You want to know a secret? You're the last one. Everyone in your sorority is dead. I just wanted to see what kind of reaction. <laughs> what are they saying about making noise? It was priceless, though. <sighs> we were having such a good conversation, too. Breaking news today. Police officers have been investigating multiple crime scenes with the exact same MO, which has many speculating on the nature of these terrible crimes. All victims show no visible traces of violence, and several of those examined do not have any debilitating disease or pre existing medical condition that could cause death. Eli. Entire families have been found dead in their homes, and the police are currently investigating possible suspects. You think another collector is responsible for this? I know for a fact that he is. You just met him outside the bar. He's insane. We need to stop him. Give me your elder amulet. I'm gonna have a closer look at it. A few religious leaders are calling it the rapture, saying that souls are leaving the bodies of those who have been chosen to go to heaven. I'm gonna go out and smoke. Glad to see that you two are working together. So you saved her, huh? She saved herself after asking for God's help. I only offered her guidance. I can't believe it's Eli killing all those people. You know somebody for years and... After the incident, we tried to help Eli. He shut us out. Not help those who do not wish to be helped. You could put a stop to him instead of having I me do it. Not interfere. With you free. are a coward, then. God does not interfere with free will, and I, as His messenger, cannot do so either. Remember what I said. Yeah, and what was that? What was what? Were you talking to someone? I just need to quit smoking. So, did you find anything? Uh, somewhat. A little conjecture here and there, but I think we might have something. This is the Elder Amulet. It was the first ever amulet created by God to store any kind of matter or energy. But the devil took the Elder Amulet when he was cast down corrupting its purpose, turning it into a collector of souls. As he fell, the amulet split into several pieces. How do you know all this? Uh, <laughs> studying these books, online, overhearing demonic conversations. When my mom passed, I got into the afterlife. I found out how to do and hear things I couldn't before. So I guess that's where you heard about collectors. Those who steal souls for demons? Yes, they do refer to you as that. But beyond that, I'm kind of in the dark. In any case, the thing I kept hearing the most about was this elder amulet. 
Give me a collector amulet. Ego sum il. Whoa. I knew it! Your amulet is one of the many fragmented pieces that came from the Elder Amulet. If we collect all the pieces, we should be able to return the Elder Amulet to its original form. And then what happens? Well, I don't have a clue. Marcus, you've done excellent work. Raquel, I have this under control. Oh, I believe you, which is why I'll be taking that Elder Amulet. This is bigger than the both of us. If we don't stop in this... You really overestimate your importance to me. Yeah, so not your best call coming to my place. Good luck getting out. Stuck there? In a way she is. She won't be able to track where we are anymore. Her powers have been temporarily suppressed by the symbols around her. Adamus, is that you? Thank you, I... No need to thank me, Kristen. Thank God. I'm glad you've made the right choice and have decided to help us. You've saved his life twice already. I wouldn't exactly say saved. More like right place, right time. You'd be dead by now. Fair point. As you now know, that elder amulet is capable of fusing with every remaining amulet. You have one, as does Eli, as well as three other collectors such as yourself. As you fuse them together, your power will increase exponentially. So we have to put as many amulets together as we can to take out Eli. And you must hurry. You have three days to acquire all three amulets. If you take longer than that, it will be impossible to defeat him, as Eli's power is increasing with every soul he takes. I've marked where two of the collectors are on your phone. That's a neat trick. The third of them is extremely elusive. Even I'm having trouble locating him. He is probably being shielded by a demon. You're going to have to figure out where he is on your own. Speaking of demons, as soon as Raquel's free, she's totally gonna kill us. How long will your warding last, Kristen? Maybe 24 hours. What about Eli? Where do we find him? I can't tell you where he is yet. Why? He says you're not ready. Guess I'm gonna have to get used to that. Oh, careful. That might burn me. Anyway, I got a place we can go to. It's got 100% less demon than yours. This is your hideout. I knew at some point I was gonna have to protect myself from demons. Do these work? I don't know. In theory they should. Oh, that's very reassuring. I mean, I can't exactly go up to Raquel and say, hey, you mind if I stab you with this real quick? Okay, before we go any further, I need some clarification from you. Yes. I'm single. <laughs> About the task at hand, Casanova. What's your role as a collector? Why don't the demons collect their own souls? They used to, a long time ago. And all these deals were made, you know, for fame, fortune, beauty. Ten years for this, fifty years for that. They use these. 
just thought these would be on fire or something. Uh, hell isn't an oven. It's actually freezing. Anyway, these contracts, they're locked. A demon cannot collect a soul before it's due. And a human can. Yes. With the amulet, humans can break the contract as early as their handler... Demon. Demon. Wants. And why do they need them earlier? More souls in hell earlier, just quicker turnaround for the next soul. I mean, to them, souls, they're just currency. One here, one there. Doesn't make a difference who it is. All that matters is getting as many as possible, as fast as possible. And what are they to you? Currency as well? I'm just carrying out orders. Don't you feel anything? Ripping their souls away? I had nowhere to go. No one would hire me after that mall bombing. The Houston bombing? You were responsible for that? If you could save your mother, would you sacrifice the lives of others? I'd sacrifice myself. Okay, well that day, I didn't feel that sacrificing an innocent life was worth potentially saving hundreds. The rest of the world didn't agree with my decision, and I lost everything. Everything. Then I met Raquel. And she even offered to keep my sickness in check. Cancer? Something unknown. Untreatable. That's still not an excuse for what you've done. How many souls have you taken? How many lives have you ended? Oh, what's it to you? You know, maybe dozens, maybe hundreds. Look, if I don't do it, I'll die. Even when I try to save lives like I did back in Houston, people still die. That's because you can't save everyone, okay? I couldn't save my mother, but just because of that, I don't go around killing people like you do. It doesn't give you the right to do what you do. Different circumstances. Bull. How about we just focus on the job? The first guy owns a kickboxing gym. Robert Henderson. He always closes early in order to free up his evenings for collecting. I'm gonna need your help. I will help you as much as I can from a safe distance. Don't worry. All right, I'm gonna take care of Robert. I just need you to get me in the office. Fine. What do you need me to do? Pretend you don't know how to fight. Distract his customers. Pretend? We handled Eli really well. Superpowers be damned. Yeah, literally. Hey, do you guys mind giving me a lesson? I'm thinking about taking classes. Sure. Oh, yeah, what do you want to know? Definitely. Uh, I'm not really sure. I've just never really hit anyone before. Oh, yeah, no problem. Just uh, give us a second. We'll put some equipment away. We'll be right back. And while you do that, I'll have a nice little chat with our friend Robert. Come in. Mr. Henderson. Yes? What do you want? Oh, this will only take a second. Would you be so kind as to hand over your amulet? What are you talking about? No need to play coy. I'm a fellow collector as well. I'm just gonna be needing it. Listen, I don't know who you think I am or what you think I have, 
But you gotta get the hell out of my face before I break yours. See? Where's yours? Let's start with the basics. You gotta curl up your fist like this when you punch. Thumb outside of your fingers. <laughs> All right, you keep on pretty quick. Okay, let's try right cross. It looks something like this. Now, try punching his hand. Ah! What's the matter there? Nothing. Just, you know, my wrist been bad all week. Doctor says it's gonna take time to recover, you know? First I hear of that. So, I can punch. What else do you guys know? I guess we could show you how to block. Tell me where the amulet is. Cabinet. Now you got Thank you so much for the tips, you guys. I really learned a lot. Anytime. I see real potential in you. You've got great technique. Oh, thank you. You take care of that wrist, okay? Well, I gotta get going now, but I'll make sure to come back again sometime. You should sign up. I'll go get Robert. Uh, no, no, no. It's fine. I'll just make sure to call him. Oh, don't worry about it. He knows him pretty well. You could probably get your room. What just happened? Was it their nap time? Uh, they were gonna go get Robert, so... yeah. Did you get the amulet? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you could have handled him yourself. I mean, how does a teacher become a martial arts master? What? A teacher can't be a black belt? Cool. Now what? Now it's gonna get a little trickier. We're gonna have to summon a demon. But we were trying to avoid them. Well, we're avoiding one of them. Ah, no, 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 not a circle. Isn't that what everybody draws? Well, yes, but the energy is far better. If we draw a triangle. Do the shapes really matter? <laughs> Everything matters. And to where the candles are placed. Most people think it's easy to summon demons, but it's really not. Most of the time, they won't even show up. Raquel made it easy with the beacon, I guess. Ugh, don't mention that horrible demon again. You know, for what it's worth, she's actually pretty hot. You think that's what she actually looks like? I mean, demons project whoever or whatever they want to be, so for all you know, she could look her actual age, which would be about 3,000 years old. I really wish you hadn't told me that. All right, everything's set. So what are you waiting for? I really hate demons. They're the ones that filled me with all sorts of crap after mom died. This is the only way we're gonna find out where he is. You're using your abilities for good. And you're not doing this alone. Okay? So will the demon be trapped? 
Uh, well, if we did an evocation, we could trap it. The problem with that is that it would be very hard to get information out of it that way, since it would know that we're trying to trap it. So we're doing an invocation instead. You lost me at evocation. We're inviting it in instead of trapping it. So we're inviting a demon in to try to kill us. Well, it could. I'm betting it won't. Besides, it's the fastest way to get what we need. If we trap it, it'll likely keep its mouth shut. So unless you've been trained to torture demons, we won't get far with that method. Invocation it is. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Well, I hope I still do too. Ego vere fruendum cassium. And now we wait. and lovely place you have. But tell us again. Thank you for coming, Astaroth. We're glad that you could join us. Uh, we were wondering if you could help us find one of your collectors. He goes by the name of Sebastian. Now, why would I give you his location? He is my best man. Never misses. Uh, we wish to help him. <laughs> we do. Someone's after him. Oh, really? Who? Raquel. Raquel. You know, I'm not surprised she's trying to beat my soul count. Last I heard, she scooped the bottom of the barrel for her latest collector. Some has-been mercenary named Marcus. Very well. If you were our enemy, you would not know how to summon me like this. He should be at the Finn Hotel tomorrow night, acquiring his next soul, Tanya. <laughs> you know, smoking, my friend, is good for business. Thank you. Your collector? Do you realize all humans to us are just cattle? Turn it off! Ah, turn it off! What was that? Angels singing. Demons can't stand it. I well, suppose they sell that online. A gift from Atavis to help me sleep at night. He's taking out the entire force of security. There's one other person I blame for what happened. And it's you, Adams. For God's sake. I'm sorry about your family, but it doesn't justify this. You swore an oath to protect this country, and you have failed it. Your team was supposed to find the bomb. And they didn't. They are the ones who failed to protect this country. Sit back down, General. What is that? What are you doing? Keeping America safe. One asshole at a time. Tough day at work? Just take a seat. What's your name? Tanya. 
Lovely name. With Tanya. You signed a contract some time ago. And someone is coming to collect your soul. Uh, how do you know about that? What's going on here? Don't worry, you'll be safe. I'll be taking your place instead. Who are you? My name's Kristen. I'm really sorry about this. Did we really have to knock her out? The less variables in the mission, the better. She's a liability, even if we're trying to save her. You got this, right? Room service. What are you doing? You actually ordered room service? Yes, we haven't eaten in forever, so I thought, why not? You know, you're compromising the mission. Oh, I to... love when you're getting all tactical with me. Uh, you can get rid of the trolley, right? Hello, ma'am. I'm with the hotel staff. And we wanted to let you know that you've been upgraded to a new suite, and I just need your signature. Just a minute. I'm sorry, but we really need that signature. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'd worry about her. Hand over your amulet. It's about time you saved me. Wonderful performance, Marcus. You truly are an amazing soldier. I didn't bring my bracelet. Then run. I'll meet up with you later. I'm not just gonna leave you Please, here. Please, Kristen. Go. You know when I'm done with you. I'm gonna spend some time getting to know her. How'd you think that was gonna go? Huh? I told you I'd kill you. Now I'll make good on that promise. That was way too close. He nearly killed me. How did he find us? I don't know. All right then. Just got one left to go. Marcus, after what you've been through, would you take this job given a second chance? What do you want from me? Just humor me. Guy. Join the army to protect those that couldn't protect themselves. When all that ended, I, I found this. There are other things in life besides working for a demon. It's not like I didn't try. I mean, I tried the whole civilian life for a while, and 
felt trapped, insignificant. You don't have to constantly be proving your worth. No, it's not even like that. Then what is it like? <sighs> Awfully inquisitive, aren't we? Hey, I knocked out two guys for you and I nearly got killed by a hotel clerk. I'd like to know who I'm helping. Really? Yeah. For research purposes, of course. <laughs> of course. If anything, there is one good thing that's come from my job. What could that possibly be? You. How often does that one work? 50-50. If you weren't a mass murderer, I'd probably go out with you. Well, if you weren't a witch, I'd probably go out with you. Good night, Marcus. Good night. Jesus! I'm not the son of God. What do you want? Here to tell me how you can't get involved? You're doing very well so far without me. Came to talk, actually. I was about to go to sleep. No, I could speak to you in your dreams, too, if you prefer. Stay out of my head. I can already tell what you're thinking. It's 3 a.m., Adivus. You still blame yourself, do you not? For Eli, for the bomb, for all those people? Here we go again. What do you care about what I think? He cares. If he cares so much, why do you let it happen? Why do you let Eli's family die? Why do you let thousands die? Why do you let me get in this in the first place? God isn't the only one influencing human actions. <sighs> Devil, right? Well, I've worked with demons for years, and I've never met the devil. I have. We all have. We knew him very well. Why not destroy him then if he causes so much evil? Why didn't God destroy the Romans before they crucified his son? That's not an answer. Some things you'll have to answer for yourself. Like what happened to my parents? You know, I never found out what happened to them. Can you at least tell me that? Your parents were amazing doctors. Save lives. You were three years old at the time, playing with your favorite toy sword. I'm not asking for a trip down memory lane. Very well. A man consumed far too much alcohol that Thursday night. He didn't break in time at a red light. The resulting collision pushed your parents' car into the intersection where another car hit them. Took their souls to heaven instantly. I'm sorry you lost your parents so young, Marcus. And I know that you still carry the guilt of not being able to save them, Eli's family, or all the people that died in the bombing. But understand that it's not your fault. Do not blame yourself for what is out of your hands. Now, all the souls you took after that are on you. But you can change. Just because you step out of the path doesn't mean you can't find yourself back on it again. Path to what? Wide awake.
puede ser. <laughs> Did you really think that a maximum security prison would keep you safe from me? Chiquirin, what the hell do you want from me now? Finish what we started all those years ago when he bombed that mall. That's local. You're right. I am crazy. And this time, you have nothing left to bargain with. So shut up and enjoy the show. I can't tell you how much I've wanted to do this. Professor Kellerman? I know who you are, Marcus. How? It's my business to know my competition. And today marks my 20th year in this collecting business. Take a seat. Have you met God? Up until recently, I wasn't even sure he existed. Then an angel appeared. Angels and demons. They're both soldiers. They're not too different from you. Except one side fights for good. <laughs> yes. Good and evil. You want to know the one thing I've learned doing this for 20 years? There is no right and wrong. No good and evil. It's all the same. Soldiers are the pawns of war between nations. We are the pawns in this war. Evil doesn't exist. I've stared at evil multiple times. And yet we've both worked for evil. Oh, we acted as facilitators, doing something that would happen anyway. Oh, you can tell yourself that. That helps you sleep at night. But you know it's not true. You're not facilitating a thing. You're murdering innocent civilians every single day in exchange for staying alive. Of course we aren't. We're collecting a debt that they signed up for. It just so happens they pay with their lives. You realize how stupid that sounds? We are killing people. From our perspective, it's good. From their perspective, it's evil. Oh, so good and evil is a matter of perspective. I hope you're teaching philosophy. No, it's much simpler than that. These complex moral and religious issues, they're just excuses. They're excuses for limiting your decisions, for limiting yourself. How convenient is it that when something good happens, oh, that's a miracle, it's an act of God, but then when something bad happens, oh, that must be an act of the devil. Nobody wants to be held responsible for anything. So good and evil, they're just excellent scapegoats that justify any act. Saving lives could never be considered evil. It depends on whose lives you're saving.
You saved the life of a mother. It's great. You're a hero. Let's say that mother was going to blow herself up, kill 10 other people. So now it's okay to kill the person you were just willing to save, just to save more lives? So what then? Good and evil becomes just a question of, of, of math. You're oversimplifying it. No, you're overthinking it. There is nothing that is eternally good, and there is nothing that is eternally evil. They are both concepts. They change relentlessly, without any parameters whatsoever. Take it. Continue your pointless war. Just remember that in the end, what you're doing makes no difference at all. Ego sum il. Brilliant work, you two. I knew if I bided my time, you would do all the work for me. Yes. Any spells or traps you thought were here are gone now. How'd you know about this place? What did I tell you when we first met? Always assume I know everything. Now, I'll be taking that amulet. Does that hurt? Did you forget about our deal? I let you live this long so you could do your job. <laughs> you think I've survived this long without knowing how to stop people like you? Stay out. Seriously, Marcus? A knife? You sneaky little shit. I don't need that amulet's power to kill you. Oh. Don't worry. I'll make that feel a lot better. <laughs> Beg me for your life, Marcus. Beg me for your life and worship me. <clears throat> and maybe I'll spare you. No. What did you say? No. I'm glad you said that. Goodbye, Marcus. I'd leave him alone if I were you. Atavis, what are you doing here? I pay attention, Raquel. Stay out of this messenger. You have no power over me. You're right. I have no power over you. If Michael were here, though... I hate him! Here we go. 
Kristen! Are you okay? She'll be fine. Sure took your sweet time out of this. I thought you couldn't interfere. Well, I cannot directly interfere with humans. That's messing with free will. But she was a demon, and you renounced her. And besides, I only gave you the amulet. You handled the rest on your own. Is Raquel dead? No. Humans can't kill demons. However, she won't be back for a long time. Stabbing her with the amulet in your other hand severely weakened her. Would she be able to kill a demon? If God wanted me to. Yes. Why didn't she then? Because God trusts in you. Now all that's left to do is defeat Eli. I'll take you to him now that you're ready to face him. Can you help me defeat Eli? That's all the help you're going to need from me. I'm sorry, Eli. I'm sorry about your family. Those terrorists planted the bomb. Neither one of us should carry the blame for that. An apology from you. It's that. It's rich. It doesn't change the fact that they're dead. You loved your family deeply. I understand that now. You turned it all into rage. But what about the families you killed? How do you think their loved ones feel? You should understand more than anyone that what you're doing right now is wrong. Mm. Well, I have my reasons. You think you could save me? What makes you think I want to stop? You're just trying to talk your way out of a fight because you know I'll win. You're right about one thing. We don't have to fight. I've done terrible things too. But you can stop. Right now. With me. You're completely right. I'll give you my amulet. Just give me a second. It's somewhere in here. I don't understand. I should be able to destroy you easily! You're not the only one who's grown more powerful. You're too much of a softy to have collected more souls. How did you do it? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, if I can't beat you, then we're both going to hell. Familiar situation, isn't it? You've lost, Eli. Neither of us needs to die here. 
Oh, really? <laughs> you think they'll spare me? After killing everyone I have in this amulet? That's what I thought. Where did you come from? Would you believe an angel sent me? I deactivated your explosives while you two were busy, courtesy of this lovely watch. I've made peace with my chaos, and you. He's out, Marcus. Do you need to kill him? Ego sum il. You've done well, Marcus. God? He is nothing but a fly on the wall compared to me. Lucifer. You humans are such brats. Here you are thinking you have saved humanity. You are nothing. Who do you think's been running the show all along? If you wanted to put together, why didn't you just do it yourself? The amulets were originally his creation. They could only be fused back together with pure intentions, so I created a threat. Poor, sad, stupid little Eli, allowing himself to be so easily manipulated by his anger, his thirst for revenge. You turned them into this. Oh, I didn't need to. Human beings are so easily corruptible. One little whisper, and you all will make yourselves fall. I promised him ultimate power and revenge. I made him a deal, Marcus. Just like you were made a deal by Raquel. Who, who do you think was his handler? I told him I could bring his family back to him if he collected all those souls. <laughs> I, can't, I can't bring his family back, Marcus. But he would have believed anything because he's an idiot. For the ultimate prize, because I have been waiting a very long time for this. When I first took this from him, I wanted to use it to collect every human soul in existence. Exterminate them all at once. Human beings are mortal, powerless, animalistic vermin. You really think that God cares about something so weak and pathetic? I am the truth. I am the only salvation that humanity has. <laughs> won't work. Not with you. Once it is returned to its original state, it cannot be used by you or me. 
because the Elder Amulet was made by God for man. Now it's on you, Marcus. You can use that amulet for whatever you wish. There's a catch, isn't there? No catch? <laughs> You can't harm him, brother. Marcus has accepted God and has his protection. He will not let you directly interfere with his free will. Fine. I don't need to touch him. Marcus. You don't know the full extent of what's going on. Just listen to me very carefully. If you release those souls, your sickness will return and you will die. But, but... Do you really think you're going to heaven after all the things you've done? Those souls are evil. Most of them made a deal to be put inside there. What? What's the use of damning yourself to an eternity of pain for them? When I could give you anything and everything you've ever wanted. And, and so much more. I'm not here to bargain like he does. That's his specialty. The choice has always been yours, Marcus. And yours alone. You think your promises mean anything to me? After what you did to Eli. I can promise you this. You will suffer for all eternity. freed all the souls. What do we do with this? Now that it's over? Keep it. This is a memento. Your heroics? No. Yours. Is he really gonna die? All living bodies die. Can't you cure him? He made his choice. <laughs> you, you already saved me, Krista. I just wish I'd met you sooner. Hey, out of this. How about a cigarette?
Is this heaven? No. Hell? No. No. Limbo? We are still on Earth, but this is just an alternate state of being. So I'm not dead. Your soul never dies. God has a new job for you. What do you mean? It's time to train you. For what? For what? My name's Raquel. I heard you last night. There's a way out. <laughs> 25 years of money, fame, fortune. All you need to do is sign. What? You're supposed to fill it with your blood. It's a bit graphic, don't you think? But you're dead. You're an angel now? Not exactly. 